What's going on YouTube? It's your man's like common sense here. I just want to show you guys. I am about to go drop off the giveaway items. I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you so so very much for supporting me the way that you do. Look for your things. They'll be in the mail. I think everybody should have their tracking numbers and all of that. But I love you guys so so very much. If you're into fragrance reviews, fashion and style tips, and those types of things, you're gonna want to stick around because we are gonna get into this bag. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. another mobile ride along. This mobile review is dedicated to a fragrance house that I actually am pretty fond of. That house is Alfred Dunhill. Alfred Dunhill is a designer house that's very consistent. I've not had many fragrances that I've smelled from that that I didn't at least enjoy. I just wish they performed a little better, lasted a little longer on my skin. But such is life. We all wish certain things would last a little longer. Anyway, it's a new release from them. Beautiful bottle, Dunhill Century. I usually don't bring full bottles on ride alongs. I want to switch up my format and do some full bottles, but that kind of gives away the fact that I think it's a cop, right? But not exactly, because this could have been a blind buy that didn't pan out. So, you want to stay tuned for that. If you're into fragrance reviews, fashion and style tips, and those types of things, you're going to want to stick around because we are going to get into this thing. Magnetic cap, twist, and it pops up. Very much enjoy that. Very classy presentation. This is one of the better presentations on a Dunhill bottle that I've seen in a very long time. It's going to be bound by for me. It's at a decent price these days. This is a two and a half fluid ounce, 75 mil bottle, 30 to $40 from fragranceby.ca. This is an eau de parfum too. It has a complexity that I like. It's a little incense-y. It doesn't smell like anything that I own. It's a very classy and understated fragrance. It's demure. I can definitely see me wearing this to work, formal events like an interview, meeting of some sort, etc. I'm wearing it casually now because I had to wear my fragrances and that's just see what it is. Fit a few more. Now let's talk about what we smell in the opening. The opening <laughs> kind of smells like mosquito repellent. First blast kind of smells like mosquito repellent. But as it's drying down, See how shiny that is. There's definitely some smokiness in here off top. So I see that's probably incense and musk. There's definitely a little bit of musk in here. Yeah! The only two notes that I really get. But it's a very sophisticated fragrance. So on the top, we have. Mid, we have. In the base, we have. I've worn this fragrance maybe two or three times before. Both times to work, warmer weather, like today. This is a spring fragrance, for sure. I smell something a little herbal. It's quite an interesting fragrance. It's not groundbreaking, it's not something that is the best, 
but it's a solid release from Dunhill for sure. Now, I will say this. The interesting part about this is something in this kind of reminds me of Serge of Mephisto. There's a little bit of uh, aquatic, kind of like lake water-ish <laughs> that I pick up in this. So that's interesting. But let's talk about presentation presentation on this bottle I love this bottle it's very classy while my gamers out there this one reminds me of Chronica Mortal Kombat presentation I'm going to give it a 10 the price I think I paid about $40 for it 75 mil 2.7 fluid ounce I give it an 8.5 I think it was a good price for the quality of fragrance now performance it's not a monster projector it's a little closer to the skin. It's a very classy, refined fragrance. It's not boisterous, it's not loud. It's kind of a peculiar smell. I don't believe many people will find this offensive, but it's not extremely mass appealing. It's composed. It's a quality fragrance. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I think this fragrance is for the individual who is on their fragrance journey looking for something just a little bit more complex. This one is appealing to me where I am in my fragrance journey. I am kind of getting outside of all the typical blue freshies looking for something that fits the bill of refined and interesting in my experience. I enjoy the fragrance on myself. I don't know how people around me feel. I haven't gotten many compliments wearing it. So as far as play, I, since I enjoy it on myself, we're gonna give it seven and a half. No compliments. And I understand that that's a big wow factor to some people. The more I talk to people, the more I understand and realize that if a fragrance isn't mass appealing or it doesn't traditionally smell good, people won't rock with it. I'm learning to never underestimate the general consensus. That's a life lesson for myself. Last time I wore this fragrance, it actually lasted me about five hours, which I feel is pretty decent for a fragrance of this type. Definitely say this is a, a aromatic, and aromatics tend to burn off a little quicker. There's a little bit of citrus, some aquatic notes. There's musk and woods. Not a monster projector, sits a little closer, maybe at about a half a foot. I see myself wearing this to formal events, an interview, something a little bit more upscale. Kind of has a refined feel. Kind of sitting up, buttoned up, prim and proper. Know what I mean? Proper drop? It depends on where you are in your fragrance journey. I'm going to lend to say for a slightly more mature gentleman, I really feel it's a cop, depending on where you are in your fragrance journey. I don't believe this fragrance is one that many women would like to smell like. They may enjoy on a man though, because there is a refinement and there is a debonair to it. Nobody will say that you smell bad. I don't expect every fragrance to be beast mode. With a collection of 135 bottles, I did some deep blood around. <laughs> Having uh, some fragrances that do their job, don't last 12 hours, it's a good thing because we need reprieve from this. Lately, I've not been wearing services to bed. I've been averaging one a day. But that's partially because I've been wearing some of my heavy hitted fragrances and they don't let you change throughout the day like my other fragrances do. So I appreciate fragrances that last for four or five hours and then get on out the way. Make way for another fragrance. I'm understanding that every fragrance doesn't need to be small, doesn't need to last 45 hours, doesn't need to project for 20 feet. It's a time and a place for everything. Quite frankly, I'm very happy with this one. One of my parting words of wisdom is continue to strive for self-improvement.